Hi, my name is Rina. I'm a PhD candidate in robotics, and this is This Week in Robots. We are seeing a lot of fancy robots that can do a whole lot, like walking, talking, and even dancing. But this week, I want to talk about the first ever robot that was kind of similar to the modern embodied AI. So the robot is named Shaky, and it was built in 1966 in a lab at the Stanford Research Institute. Now Shaky didn't look fancy. In fact, it was basically a metal box on wheels with a camera on top. But Shaky did something groundbreaking. It became the first robot that could look at the world, think about what it saw, make a plan, and then act on that plan. So before Shaky, robots were basically like microwaves. You told them exactly what to do, step by step. But Shaky was a lot smarter than、um, any robot had ever been.、Um, Shaky can scan a room, understand obstacles, and figure out what steps are needed to complete a task. And Shaky worked by using a camera and a range sensor to build a、uh, simple map of its surroundings, then using logical planning algorithms、um, to break tasks into step-by-step -step actions,、um, such as moving forward or like turning right. Um, and although it has been decades since、um, Shaky, modern AI still uses many of the same ideas that Shaky pioneered.、Um, in fact, the researchers who created Shaky also developed、um, a star search, which is an algorithm that's still、um, literally used everywhere from、um, Google Maps to robot navigation. So, I think we should really see Shaky as a reminder that AI has always been about one simple idea, which is giving、uh, machines the ability to make reasonable decisions in complicated situations. And Shaky didn't use deep learning or powerful GPUs, but it reasoned, and that's something that autonomous systems, including robots, are still struggling with to this day. So yes, in some ways, Shaky is showing us how far we've come. But in other ways, the technical challenges we face today are really the same problems that Shaky had. So I hope you will remember this janky little robot that tried to learn how to think. And I'll see you next week.